Hello friends and enemies. Today we are looking at D20 Studios Giant Wild Boar Bone Stabber brown version. They have a black version too, but I thought the brown version showed off the details better, and so that's the one I chose. I am a fan of boars. I've never met one, but I think they're neat. Mostly I really wanted this giant wild bone stabber boar to go with my Mythic Legions Borier figure. It is a very hefty box, as you can tell. It doesn't really want to fit in my review space. You've just got some promotional pictures on the front and on the sides. This product is not suitable for children under 15 years. If you give this to a child under the age of 15, you'll get attacked by a pack of 20 to 30 wild boars. So it's got a flip cover, another very nice product shot on the interior of that, and then you can see through the plastic to our figure, and it looks pretty gnarly. It does look like the paint on this bone piece here has rubbed up against the plastic and kind of rubbed off. So uh, we'll get a closer look at that when we open it up. So let's go ahead and open him up. All right, so be careful getting him out of the package because I definitely hurt myself on one of these sharp tusks up here. And all the points on this figure are very pointy and hard. So this is why you don't want to give this to children under the age of 15, because I'm definitely over the age of 15 and I've already injured myself. But that's um, that's pretty normal if we're going to be honest. So I admit that when we got this figure in, I was kind of like, what did I do? Why did I order this? I'm not sure I'm even going to like it. It's expensive. It's a huge chunk of plastic. Do I really need a giant angry boar? And well, the answer to that is no, no one really needs a giant angry boar, but looking at it in person, it looks so awesome. Just all the details, the sculpt work is so nice. You can see some really interesting textures on the face. The paint is all really good. We do have that bit of paint that came off against the package, but the bone details on this are so scuffed up and weathered anyway that uh, it doesn't really bother me. It's not very noticeable. Even the inside of the mouth is sculpted very nicely too. I like to think that they brought a real boar into the studio to sculpt this. You know, like how when Disney was working on The Lion King, they brought in actual savanna animals. <laughs> I'm sure that's not the case at all, but it's fun to think about. And I'm going to go over articulation in a minute, but first I want to see what he looks like with everything on him because he comes with a lot, a lot of little extra parts. So we've got these, <laughs> they look like uh, carved mammoth tusks that you can attach to to these little ball joints here. I will say the minute you open the package for this thing, there's a definite smell. It's very chemically, so I'm hoping it'll air out a little bit. He's got this sweet skull helmet he can wear, which I assume was made from the skull of an even larger boar, which is pretty metal when you think about it. I mean, I guess it'd be different if I was trying to scare someone, but I don't think I'd really be keen on the idea of wearing the skull of a larger human as a hat, but I live in a society. Then there's this crazy flayed face that attaches as kind of like a, um, a warning flag or a backdrop to this pelvis piece up here. And that is just like really gruesome. Also, it looks it looks a little bit too big to be a face. I mean, I guess it's the right size for these skulls here if it's stretched out. But just going by the size of what I assume the rider would have to be for this. I don't know. I'm not going to think about it too much. Oh, and I was holding it backwards anyway. This is the front and this is the back. So there he is in all his glory looking very intense. And I don't have a D20 Studios writer for him, but I do have a special guest star, Borier, from the Four Horsemen Studios Mythic Legions line. So he's going to be our writer. He wasn't really made for this, so it doesn't work out that great, but just <laughs> something about this is hilarious to me, and I knew it would be, and that's part of the reason I got this. Is that a stupid reason? Yes, but life is short. All right, good job, Borier. Borier, I think, is probably one of, if not my favorite Mythic Legions. Uh, action figure. <laughs> Just something about a, a boar in armor. So I'm not sure how much articulation this guy has. It seems to be a decent amount for the body shape. I mean, boars aren't very articulated themselves. They're basically just like chunky rectangles. I do like that the tail is on a wire. I thought it would just be on a ball joint, but there's a wire inside so you can twist it into all sorts of poses. So I'm going to take all his accoutrements off so we can uh, get a better look at the articulation. And there's a little clasp right where the sculpted buckle is on the saddle. And I really hope that once I get this off, I can get it back on because things like this, uh, at least in my experience, once you take them on and off one to two times, they start to not want to go anymore. So it plugs in up here where his mane is going to be. And just take the whole thing off. 
You can also take off these bow and leg guards, and those are just one piece. They're a little bit difficult to get off. They might be difficult to put back on, but I guess we'll see. So they're supposed to be one piece, I'm pretty sure, but mine just broke, this, uh, this one that was on one of the legs. I think I should be able to glue it back into place, but the problem with that is that that glue is going to be a weak point from now on, so it will probably break every time I put this on and take it off. Now I'm nervous to take these other ones off. Oh, but we gotta do it for science. I'm gonna do something that I should have done in the first place and run these under hot water. I really don't know if it would have saved this one because that piece looked pretty, uh, like it was ready to go already. But I'm just going to warm these up a little bit so I can get them off easier. All right, so he's a little wet now, but that is not a problem. He'll dry off eventually. So you also get this main piece and that plugs in right where the saddle went. Very nice, not too noticeable. The paint blends well. So yeah, not sure how much articulation this one will have. The face certainly doesn't seem to move much, but that's just how it is with like <laughs> regular boars. Like I said, they're just like shaped in a way, you know? It gets a tiny amount of head up and down, a little bit of side to side, a pretty robust shoulder joint, kind of a small elbow here. Pretty good range on this joint though. And then you get some swivel at the hoof. The torso moves a little bit, but I'm not even sure if that was needed. I don't know, maybe it does something, but, but I'm not sure how useful that will be. Another big chunky joint at this back leg. But this knee just doesn't seem to do much, even though there's a cut there. Either uh, I can't move it, it's stuck, or it's just, it just doesn't do much. Decent movement on that joint, and more up and down and swivel at the hoof. The legs will also kind of go in or splay out a little bit, so if you can't get him in a proper stance, it might be that one of your legs is just positioned wrongly. So he looks really cool with the bone saddle and everything, but he also looks really cool as just a boar, just unadulterated boar. So here he is with Borier. So this guy is going to be one twelfth scale, so he might not scale up with a lot of your figures. Scale has never really been a problem for me, but if you're doing like photography and stuff like that, you might want your creatures and characters to pair together a little bit better. And here he is with Alder the Moose, another Mythic Legions figure, just because, you know, animals. Boar, moose. So even if you had this in like a Mythic Legions display or something, it would still be a really nasty looking ferocious boar, like a huge thing. So I hope this review was informative to you. I'm uh, really pleased with this boar, even though I wasn't exactly sold on it when we actually got it. I don't, I don't know why. This studio also did a wolf version, which I thought looked really cool. The boar I thought was a little more interesting because you don't see them quite as often, which is why I chose boar over wolf. So as always, likes and subscribes are very much appreciated. Comments are more than welcome, and I will see you guys on the next one.